Yes. Thank you for organizers to having me talk here. So I'm, this is quite a pleasure to me. So uh, I'd like to today I'd like to introduce our work and uh, I'd like to give some idea how to share the data. So uh, and this is about from the data producer side or actual biological exploration side. So first of all, my uh, I'm Kawaji. So um, my current work is about uh, two. Uh, categories. One is basic science, so computational genomics and uh, data controlling from QC to databasing. Especially I'm working for, for here, so I'm, today's talk is about mainly about this one. So the next one is clinical application as well, so uh, this data sharing is also quite important for this site as well. So my uh, current uh, main interest is cell dynamics at the genomic level. So this is uh, underlying our healthy and diseased states. So, I mean, in recent studies, a lot of genomes has been generated. Like, so our, our genome is not generated, I don't, I'm not I'm sure. But those guys are may be secrets, I don't, I don't really know. But this sort of genome has been, lots of genomes has been decided. And the, the genome differences uh, produce different phenotypes. But at the same time, even in the same genome, a variety of cells has been produced and function in different ways. That's amazing. So it, it sounds kind of uh, almost uh, common sense. It, it's a common sense in the biological field, but if you go back to original motivation, this is quite amazing, impressive. So by, do, by this motivation, uh, we mapped, uh, uh, we collected almost 3,000 uh, mammalian samples and then made a transfer transcriptional data, and uh, so this is somehow a uh, map of the all individual cells, like monocyte, adipocyte, and uh, skeletal muscle, and this uh, we collected all uh, uh, those uh, transcriptional data and mapped. And uh, so this is based on uh, transcriptional initiation site activity, and uh, this, uh, the, our technology enabled us to map Transcription starting site I at the highest resolution, one base pair resolution. This is one example. This is left sick gene, and this is transcription starting site. They decided, and uh, this is a uh, uh, coding sequence in starting starting site. But if you do the TSS mapping, sometimes it starts from here, sometimes it starts from here, sometimes it just starts from here. So, oh, so so what you may think, but. For example, in this case, you know, so this is a downstream of the CDS, which means produced protein is not the same to the registered database, to the registered one, to the database. So that's why so we have to understand what's happening in that cell in a precise way. So it's, it, those, uh, our data enable us to identify, promote that at the highest res resolution. And so our data also uh, enable us to identify enhancers. This is a distal regulatory element. This is kind of remote controller of the gene expression. So, you know, so this is a gen genome. Uh, polymerase 2 is sitting on here, and the enhancer elements are sitting around the signals here. So, these distal elements are quite uh, difficult to identify so far. However, recent uh, technology like ChipSeq or, or those uh, ones uh, uh, produce data for enhancers. And uh, our data also enable us to identify these regions as well. So this is kind of important since the gene was originally uh, defined as a unit of inheritance, not just protein coding gene or whatever. So gene is just a concept of a unit of inheritance. And later on, this has been uh, defined as mRNA or protein coding gene. And after that, the non-coding are coming up. Oh, we have to add in, in as a gene. And now, so regulatory elements also can add it on. So in this way, many things remain to be discovered or redefined. So we are still uh, in, uh, in the stage to redefine all these concepts. So I think this is kind of 
you, you, you can consider like this. So this is a standing on the shoulders of giants. So this, uh, we have a lot of data already. And uh, we made up of our data on the, his shoulder. And the next, we should pile up. And then this is the field we hope to explore or discover. So in this way, and the joining data, or, uh, data sharing has to help this, this part. So in this concept, uh, in this motivation, so I'm just, uh, we are doing a joining or sharing data to stand on the shoulders of the giants. Now we uh, made a lot of database, like Zenbu some, and uh, Tet, or bi and we also installed the Biomart and uh, Nanopad also, so we, we are familiar with, right? And uh, we also uh, uh, made a motif database and uh, uh, we also made this one, this one, and this I, I'm going to uh, touch later on. So this data was required, and uh, this database was required to cover entire axis of those data. So for, to, for individual, uh, already known one as gene, uh, gene, gene is already no, known, right? So, I mean, P53 is, yes, this is gene, but the, uh, how those genes are related are still a bit unknown, uh, uh, as we have to define. So uh, this, this axis is much more model-based, the data will be much more model agnostic. One. So, of course, some of data should be should be based on model, but this should help also the new finding. And for, for and we have to note that new finding do not have no model, uh, do not have model. So that's why if we aggregate all of the data based on data model, we may not be able to discover new one. But to make new finding, we have to go back to the known, known uh, knowledge, and we have to go in this direction. So, so in this way, so we uh, what, what I, I, okay. So I, 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 uh, this is kind of uh, sample axis and this genome axis, and especially for genome axis, I just pick pick up one technology that which is called as track hub. So uh, we employed this technology for Phantom 5, but uh, this is not only us, uh, ENCODE, Roadmap, and Lansan Genome, uh, UK10K, and uh, all those uh, uh, projects uh, employed uh, this technology and uh, shared all those data. And uh, this can be shown in Ensemble or UCSC, or some of the data files can be used in the IGV and uh, Bio, Bio, and that. So I, Yes, Darians also kind of get, isn't coming up. So this, uh, uh, based on genomic axis, the aggregation of those data will help new finding. At the same time, so we also have to understand which state of the cell, which 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 is um this might can be called as metadata or some state of the much more our body or so. And uh, for to capture this one, so we developed a sample ontology. And this is kind of, I think it's uh, similar to EFO application ontology. Uh, actually, we are, uh, this is, has been developed by cell type ontology people, Chris Mango, or those colleagues. And uh, uh, we have uh, those, uh, these uh, models or ontologies. And uh, we build up application ontology on that. And we added on sample, sample attributes. And especially even cell types, this is kind of difficult to describe recently. For example, if we generate IPS or and stimulate for induction, in, induced for some, uh, to produce some cell, how do we call which type of cell? we have to call. So this sort of question is still coming up. So this is still an uh, ambiguous stage, but we should help, we should merge all of these axes. And to capture all this information, we uh, employed MediaWiki and Semantic MediaWiki technology. 
and uh, uh, we aggregate all those data in a like infobox way. And uh, uh, this enables us to export as ISA tab or just uh, Excel file, or, and this has been converted to NanoPub guys. And uh, I'm think, uh, we are thinking to if we can talk to Wikidata as well. Yes, so, so for this, this is my interest for this by Hackathon. Unfortunately, I'm, I can be today and tomorrow only here. But uh, so these three are the, my uh, main interests for, for this by Hackathon. The first one is aggregate more and more uh, data on track hub. And I, I'm aware Chip Atlas has been uh, kind of worked with this Otasan here and uh, uh, Oti-san uh, at the Future University. So I, I hope to kind of align our data with their data. And uh, we are also uh, interested in to how we can expose to wiki data or if we should do use wiki data for future or not. This sort of, kind of interaction would be I'm quite interested in. At the same time, I also kind of, I hope to prepare uh, for new model. So I, I introduced a new concept of gene, but uh, so I, and I think the next speaker will introduce much more complex uh, genomic uh, variation. So if this is also kind of one of the main quite interesting cutting edge parts, so I'm quite interested in to prepare data and uh, our mindset or model. This is my busy slide, but I'm sorry, but uh, this is uh, Phantom 5 is not on my private project, of course. This, uh, this is helped out by many guys, especially the main guys are our forest, and uh, those people are helping in data distribution. Yes, thank you very much.